fuck are you doing? I'm filming an opening. Uh, no, you start right now. Vehicle. Noun. A device or structure used for transporting humans or things. In gaming, they tend to have huge fuck off guns. Basically, as aforementioned, something that gets you from A to B. Now, there are some things that do this well, and some things that just fail to perform their job. Which is, uh, what I'm making a list about. So let's do this, goddammit. Okay. A horse is not technically motorized. Actually, it's not motorized at all. But it does qualify for something that gets from A to B. Now I know what you're all thinking. Legend of Zelda, Epona, or whatever you people call your horse. <laughs> but there's one horse in gaming that I feel is a better vehicle than Epona. And that is Agro from Sotoka. That horse is loyal. It comes with you and rides towards these things. And no matter where you are, he will always come. Literally anywhere. Plus, some of the bosses are actually impossible to do without aggro. Plus, the landscape just looks so much more beautiful on the horse. That is a great horse, and therefore number 5 on this list. It would probably be higher, but I'm not quite sure if a horse really counts. There are so many vehicles in Halo, it's hard not to include one. So I'll take the easy way out and take one. So the Ghost. It's the best vehicle in the game. Because it has infinite life. In the sense of regenerating life just like the Master Chief. Plus it has my favorite aspect of vehicles, which is actually more tribute to the game. You can take it. And I love it. And yeah, blah blah, guns and stuff, speed, yeah. It's okay, it's okay. The spaceship in the original arcade game, Asteroids. That thing is a technical masterpiece. Just look at it. Look at that. I'll look at that. While its shape is kind of like a star shape, but taking two sides off, kind of. And it floats around shooting a laser strong enough to destroy asteroids ten times the size of it. Plus it has an unlimited amount of fuel. You see, the secret is, powered by love. Resistance Fall of Man is an arguably mediocre game that bears an uncanny resemblance to the Ratchet and Clank series, partly due to the fact that they are made by the same people. But anyway, the tank in Resistance is so unbelievably overpowered. I'm serious. The only way you can fail the tank segments in the game is through failing the objective. The tank has so much health, and the gun is super powerful. However, the mongoose thingy, whatever it's called, has no health, in the sense of you can't destroy it. Meaning in a battle, it would decimate the tank. Which gives it the number two spot on this list. So what's better than that, you ask? I'll be fucking patient and wait five seconds, I'll tell ya. The snowboards in any SSX game, you know SSX, it's that snowboarding game that everybody's played at their friend's house, but if you ask anyone, they don't own it. It's a loophole in reality, but it works. The amount of shit these snowboards go through, it's incredible. I've messed up snowboards before. But from trivial things, like constantly falling over and generally being bad at snowboarding. But these guys fall a hundred meters and land on a pole in the middle of the board and fucking soar away! I'm convinced you could survive a nuclear apocalypse if you were surrounded by these things. Easily. And that's this list. For every good vehicle, unfortunately, there's a bad vehicle to compensate. So, without much further ado, let's delve into the top 5 worst vehicles of all time. 
The vehicles in Metal Slug just kinda suck. The heavy is better than every vehicle in the game. And you could argue that the vehicles are an extra life, fair enough, but in a game with infinite lives, who really cares? They're just all genuinely bad. Every single helicopter in Resident Evil. I mean, the first one can be put off to bad flying. But after a while, you just cannot attribute it to bad flying anymore. The helicopters are faulty. From Resident Evil 1 to 5, they all crash. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. And the Resident Evil 6 trailer, if you slow it down enough to counteract all the fast cutting, what do we see? In general, all the carts from Crash Nitro Kart. If you ever played its predecessor, Crash Team Racing, or the sequel, Crash Tag Team Racing, you'll notice that the cars just feel slow. Just... Here's a comparison shot. The so-called vehicle in Daxter for the PSP. Why have it? You can run just as fast as the vehicle. It serves no purpose. You can walk into mission areas. You can't use the car. You can walk anywhere. It's not like Halo. If there ever is a sequel to Daxter, use this. Not this. The R-Wing from Star Fox is a badass vehicle. No one is denying that. But fucking hell, something is wrong with Slippy's R-Wing. It is constantly failing to move fast enough to evade enemy fire and apparently has no firing power of its own. Ah! If you take the amount of time Slippy cries for health divided by 10, it's still more than any other character added together. What is with that? Slippy, you should call the technician. Oh. He is the technician. So. Ah! Slippy? What the f fuck? And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Since was the since this is the first proper video that was made for this channel, um, I really could do with a little bit more publicity. So I would like all of you to spread to share this video among your friends that could enjoy my that could enjoy this video. Hey, look at that! It's two videos. You know, they are clickable. See, what you do is, you take your mouse, you move it onto the icon, you click the icon, and then that takes you to one of my last videos. If you click this one, you go to my last top five, and if you click this one, you go to my last review. Oh, there's a channel here that I think you should go check out. If you like DJ Morfar, you'll like him. It's another Swedish Let's Player. Mr. About something. Also, you see these two icons? I think you recognize them. And when you click these, nothing happens because I don't have a Facebook or a Twitter account. Bye! Smiley face, less than three. Lol!